Hello my soap and friends, I hope you all are doing well. Today I'm going to show you how I prepare aloe vera for soap making. This video is sponsored by Inventor, but we'll get more into that a little bit later. Now you can do everything that I'm doing without cutting the leaf into smaller sections. I had time today so I worked with smaller portions. After trimming both sides of the leaf, I'm going to take my spoon and scoop the inside right on out. Now this other side wasn't spooning like I wanted to, so I had to use a knife. Hey, get it the best way you can, just be careful out here. As I get every single last drop of aloe vera juice out of this leaf, let's talk about the sponsor of today's video. Inventora is an all-in-one system for makers like you and I and other manufacturers. It keeps track of raw materials, finished products, and more. So I've been using Inventora for the past couple weeks now, and honestly, it's opened my eyes to a couple things. So when it tracks your raw materials, it will let you know what you're going to run out of before you run out. It also calculates the cost of your materials per ounce, which is pretty cool because I had this information in Excel before. And let's just say me and math, we not the best of friends. So this was very cool. And it also calculates um, your products for you. So how this works, you'll go into whatever product, put the materials needed to make that product, and it will automatically calculate how much that product is per piece per ounces per pounds so that was really awesome this was a game changer for me and it truly made me aware of sis you need to bump them prices up you tripping so that's exactly what i did so um highly recommended for um any small business any big business we're not finna stay small for long so this um definitely helped me and i know that it can help you all highly recommend 10 out of 10. now back to our original program now that i have all of my aloe vera pieces in my container i'm going to stick blend until i get it smooth what miss tab say like so like that Now this next step is optional. You can use the full aloe vera liquid or you can dilute it and make it 50-50. I've done both before, but since I didn't get a lot of juice from this leaf because I had two small leaves, I'm going to go ahead and make this 50-50. I also personally feel that aloe vera can go a long way. Um, a little goes a long way, so... Definitely 50 50 add distilled water not tap Now let's go ahead and move the liquid over to an ice tray. I definitely should have used a bigger ice tray because I was struggling But when you know better you do better Once everything is nice and frozen, I'm gonna go ahead and measure out the water amount with the cube 
the soap that I'm making also has apple cider vinegar. So I'm also adding them in frozen as well. Since I've been using apple cider vinegar in soap making, I noticed that it can accelerate the soap a little bit. So that's why I freeze them to keep the temperature down. Also, I don't know who needs to hear this, but if you really want to make cold processed soap and the lie is scaring you, freeze to the still water, my love. Because what fumes? If you freeze your distilled water portion and then mix the lye, there will be no fumes. You still want to be suited and booted now. But it's not as scary when you don't see stuff smoking. Fret not, my soap and friend. Just freeze the water. Don't let fear stop you from anything. Period. Now we're going to stir this until it's melted. Let's go ahead and get these melted gently, double boil style. Once that is melted, now I'm going to add the rest of my oils in slowly and carefully for accuracy. I'm also using turmeric in this soap. Now I like to add my turmeric in this way by pre-mixing it with the oil that I already have, mixing it together and then adding it in at a later time. Um, you could just add the dry powder straight in, add a lighter trace, mix it, and there it is. It's a couple of different ways you can do it. This is the way that I like to do it. For the part you all have been waiting for, let's sit back, relax, and watch this beautiful soap come together.
I had a subscriber ask about the cleanup. This is what I like to do. Sometimes I'll leave it just like this, come back the following day, and wash it then. Um, if I need to reuse a bowl or a utensil right away, I'll go ahead and wipe this down with a paper towel or a designated soap cloth, and then wash right after. So if you made it this far, my soap and friends, thank you so much. Like always, continue to spread love, never hate. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.